my dear people of St. John's and any others who happen to be listening to this welcome. We are entering a two week period of sheltering in place. For many, we will have more periods of time in our home. Some of you are doing essential work and will have some time away. Some of you maybe are affected directly by COVID-19 and exposure by your work or by having contracted it yourself. Whatever your situation, our faith is very important. We would wish our God to just take it all away, certainly. But when Jesus came, he lived the goods and bads of the human condition to be a model of love and compassion through it all. So we look to Jesus these days as one we can learn from, one whom we can imitate, and as one who gives us strength and courage and wisdom in all the times of our life. We are a faith community. We cling together these days especially so that we can support each other in these times. The time of shelter is unique, but necessary, I believe, to slow down the spread of the virus. So for the next two weeks, St. John's will close the door, doors of our office. The church itself, we will keep open Monday to Thursday from nine until four each day. We know this time, uh, maybe, uh, we know you're not supposed to be out and about, but if you happen to be out and about and want to just stop at the church for a visit, I think it would be a good thing for you. The staff has been working hard to respond to calls and requests and to take care of business. We are also trying to stay in touch with you through YouTube and Facebook and on our website. We will continue to do these things, especially the online material that can, you can reach from our website, stjohnscatholicchurch.com. We are also starting an outreach by phone call to as many parishioners as we can, just to check in with you, to listen to your questions and concerns. We do care about you, and we want to keep those lines of communication open. You can always, always call the parish, and if we are not in, leave a message for a particular staff member. We will be checking our messages on a regular basis. If you need to get a hold of me for an emergency, please call on the rectory phone or leave a message on the church number. As we approach Holy Week and Easter, our connection to the new life of resurrection is so important as people of faith. I will be available for the re Sacrament of Reconciliation and the schedule is published on our website and in the bulletin. In order to keep social distance for that sacrament, we have moved the confessional into the Adoration Chapel. Please feel free to have some time to be in the church as you prepare for the sacrament or other times, as you turn away from sin and darkness to find a way back to the light of Christ. As you know, our collection plate is no longer passed each week since we have no gathering. So we kind of find ourselves in a tough spot financially. I ask you to consider continuing your weekly donation by mailing or direct deposit we are working to put in place a way to donate online. Thank you for all you for all uh, being alive in your faith and be, believing that Jesus is alive in our community. I will talk with you again soon. God's peace and blessing be with you.